When Microsoft rewrote the exam objectives for the AZ-900, there was a mention of this term under cloud concepts and its shared responsibility. So we'll talk a little bit about the shared responsibility model, that term, and what it means. And as you'll see in just a moment, it's mostly, I think you'll agree, just a matter of semantics. So here is the graphic that Microsoft shares with you, with me, about the shared responsibility model. And it deals with the question of what you manage versus what the cloud provider manages. So as we've seen so far, it'll differ depending on whether your computing workload is hosted using software as service, platform as service, infrastructure as service, or none of the above. In other words, whether it is hosted in an on-premises computer or even a data center. So just to quickly point out what you're seeing here on this graphic, if you look at the right-hand side or towards the right-hand side, on-premises, if you own everything, then you control the physical network, the physical data center. But if anything is hosted by your cloud provider, so if you have a virtual machine, which is an instance of IaaS, then that is owned by Microsoft if it's hosted in Azure. Now, regardless of the cloud mechanism in use, SaaS, PaaS, IaaS, there are a couple of different items that you always retain control of. You retain control of the data, the endpoints, the account, and access management. So just to give you a quick example of what is mean by this, if you think about SAAS and you're using something like Microsoft Office 365, they control all the software. They own and manage Outlook, but your account, your data, that you work with within Outlook, that's still re retained by you. Microsoft does not maintain that data. Other than the aspect of the, the data exists on physical servers, and those are exist in, in Microsoft data centers. So as you can see with this discussion of the shared responsibility model, it's really just comes down to whether or not you understand the differences between IAS, PAS, and SAS, and on-premises management. So it's really kind of that discussion is really kind of a refactoring of this diagram that I have shared with you earlier. So really your understanding of these things comes down not so much to memorizing what a shared responsibility model is, but rather just a more broad overview of these different cloud platform models.